In 2018, Vladimir Putin personally inaugurated this bridge to Crimea and even drove a truck across what was billed as a major infrastructure upgrade for the occupied peninsula. Now, satellite images show the extent of the damage on the bridge, the only link between Crimea and Russian land partially collapsed after a major explosion which set a train on fire and killed several people. This is a bridge that was a symbol of Russian power. So inflicting such serious damage clearly is taken by the Ukrainian as a morale boost. Very little is known about the blast, but security footage and verified social media clips offer clues that can help us understand what happened there. Let's take a look at videos taken just before the explosion. Russia said it was investigating the role of a truck. In the security footage verified by the news agency Storyful, a truck appears to explode close to the epicenter of the blast. However, engineering and defense experts say that the vehicle is unlikely to have been the primary cause of the incident. In that case, there'll be a hole in the middle of the bridge and not just this uh, collapse of two spans. They think that the explosion most likely came from under the bridge. The various theories, it could be a manned or unmanned boat, or it could be commander divers placing ship charges on the pillars of the bridge. And in this video, just as that truck drives by, you can see something that resembles the nose of a ship, appearing under the bridge just an instant before the detonation. The fact that the surface of the road appears to be unscathed in aftermath images also suggests that the attack could have come from underneath, according to military analysts and engineers. The damage done to the bridge can also help estimate the amount of explosives used in the attack. So the militia experts we've spoken with say that uh, if and this was done professionally by placing shape charges at the support structures of the bridge, it wouldn't require a huge amount of explosive, several sort of trash can sized uh, explosive charges. So who's behind the blast? Russia blamed Ukraine. A Ukrainian presidential advisor responded to Putin on Twitter, calling his accusations too cynical. Ukrainian officials welcomed the attack on social media, but didn't claim responsibility. Experts agree that if Kyiv managed to pull off this operation, it shows a dramatic increase in its ability to counter Russia's invasion. This bridge was one of the most highly protected structures in the world. This is an attack that is hundreds of miles from the Ukrainian lines, so it would have required deep infiltration. Uh, into Russian territory, and a very high level of secrecy. The bridge is a strategic artery for the supply of fuel, military equipment, and food to Russian troops fighting to hold ground in southern Ukraine. Russia said traffic on the bridge was partially restored quickly after the blast, and ferry links were resuming. Still, many civilians were left stranded, and images showed long lines of cars trying to leave Crimea. The Kremlin had warned of severe consequences should Kyiv try to strike this infrastructure. It is an escalation, but again, it's not the first time that uh, Ukraine has struck either in Crimea or infrastructure targets in Russia. This significantly reduces the capacity of the Russian forces that are fighting in South Ukraine and trying to, to fend off the Ukrainian offensive. Two days after the bridge attack, Russian strikes hit at the heart of Kyiv as well as other Ukrainian cities in Moscow's biggest missile barrage in the country in months.